guys, welcome back to our video. Today is June, oh wait, today is July 17th, 2019. I'm here at beautiful Brigantine Beach behind me. Uh, I'm gonna do some kingfish today. I got my two poles right back there on my little canal setup. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going for dinner today. It's around 8 a.m. now, got probably four hours to fish. And I gotta catch a train home at one o'clock or so. so. Yeah, my goal for today is just catch as many kingfish as I can. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully we slay them. Alright guys, we're going to be starting off with my homemade rig right here. And it's just basically 40 pound mono with a dropper loop right here. I put some electrical tape just to make the uh, hook not slide around. And I'm using Gamagatsu size 4 octopus circle hooks. I made these myself because it just gets expensive. <laughs> I don't know why, but I tend to lose kingfish rigs a lot. And we're just baiting them up right here with a uh, blood worm and fish bite combo. Unfortunately, my blood worms yesterday when I was out on the jetty, they were sitting in the sun and they died for the most part. But I mean, they should, should still work. They're not holding on the hook as well. But I also do have fish bites and shrimp, which if the blood worms aren't working well, sucks, it was a waste of 10 bucks, but at least I got other baits. So there we go, there's the rig we're gonna be using. It actually looks pretty nice for me, hand tying it. Um, I'm just hoping I don't lose it. And we got a four ounce sinker on the bottom. We're tossing out a pretty, pretty, pretty overkill. Uh, Kingfish Ray, we got a, a 10 foot medium heavy rated three to six ounces. A tsunami Sapphire XT. And a pen, old Spin Fisher 5500. I just want to be able to cast out far. That's basically just why I'm doing this. I do have a smaller pole over there, but I just like to reach out a lot farther than the other guys just because that's where i mostly get my bigger kingfish but if i'm getting dogfish i'll cast in a little closer because that also tends to happen when you cast out really far a lot of little smooth doggies will show up but you just sit this in the rod holder i'm gonna go uh rig up my other rod and ideally we'll just only need one today but i'm gonna go set up the other one now over there and uh hopefully today we just slay the kingfish we're really going for a dinner type beat. I'm gonna keep them over 10 inches today and keep as many as I can. So hopefully the kingfish show up guys, rig up this other rod and I'll see you in a bit. All right guys, second rod is rigged up. Doesn't look anywhere near as pretty as the first. I'm just hoping to catch this fish because that's all I need, so. This one's happy able to go out as far, hopefully. It's right in the kingfish strike zone. Right there should probably be good. Yeah, that's a great casting range. All right, so that's sitting down there. Let's go check our other rod. I think we had some bites. Oh, there's one already on this one. Just casted it out. I figured I should turn around and there we go, fish on. Yep, what I said, the kingfish range is right there. I literally just cast this out, like not even a few seconds ago. Let's just hope it's a king. Oh, digging in hard actually. What we got here? Oh, baby king. Yep, not what I was looking for. Actually, you know what? That's that's a good eater right there. That will make fine dinner. Little northern king right there. Ooh. Let's go toss him in the cooler. And then we'll check the other rod. I'm pretty sure I had a bite on there too. All right, 
I actually didn't have a bite. That was just the waves over there. But we will put some more blowworms on the other rod. Hopefully catch some kingfish. I mean, it sucks. Paid 10 bucks for these dudes yesterday and already dead. That's all my fault though. Actually, this guy's alive. Great. But my fault for them being in this condition because I did have them out in the jetty in the sun. That's a big, big no-no. If you're uh if you're using live bloods because they're really sensitive and once they die they get really soft and tear really easily fortunately for me i do have it looks like at least one right here that is still alive hopefully this is the one that catches me a double header <laughs> i mean you can go out to nearly any beach with blood worms and or fish bites and probably just catch some kingfish you don't have to cash out that far. I mean, I have a free rod that I got here from a little kid's fishing tournament. And this reel is antique. You don't need to have any really good tackle. Just need something that's a little bit salt waterproof. Stick it in the holder. And as long as you got circle hooks, you just wait. And fish just come. So, there it is. There he is. We're on, we're on. I thought we were on. I don't feel a lot of weight. Or any weight, actually. Oh, there he is. Yep, we got a fish on. Awesome. Oh, yeah, now he feels decent. What the heck? Kingfish actually are pretty underrated fighters. Look at this guy. Small, but still make good dinner. Let's go put this guy in the in the cooler, and we'll check the other rod. Dang it! Missed that bite, unfortunately. There's one already. Oh yeah, already, dude. Just cast thing freaking out there oh my gosh the bite is hot I could definitely get a quick dozen today if not more that'll be awesome yeah he's making some good runs hit hit like a tank I'm not sure what the size of this one is so far they've all been decent this morning sorry for that squeaking reel it is pretty old yeah that's a good one right there for sure Probably biggest one of the day. Not a little kingfish. Weirdly, they've all been on the bottom hook right here. Here we are, third one of the day. All on the bottom circle hook right there, which is pretty weird, but I'll take it. Let's go put them in the cooler, guys. Third one of the day. Really loading up good. Awesome. Back out we go. Should not be long at all before we get a bite. He's on, he's on, he's on. Just say I was putting her in the rod holder. That's funny. Chaotic out here. Seems like every time I'm working with another rod, the other rod gets hit. Feels tiny. Yeah, that's a little too small for me to do. Probably 10 incher, but I'd catch some bigger ones. See ya, dude. Let him go, let him grow. All right, clam and sand flea on here. All right, out there, good. Let's come up, catch some more kingis. There's this, just as I freaking put it in the raw holder. Oh my gosh. Definitely gonna go in the cooler, I think, for now at least. I mean, it feels, feels nice, haven't seen him yet. Come on in, bud. Ah, eh, that's a good one. Yep, that's a good eater right there. This is a southern kingfish. Different from his northern brother, because there's no dark stripes right there. 
But it's awesome in the core, good 10 inch right there. Awesome. Number four going in the core, number five overall today. There's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, shit. I clean my hands before I reel them in. I don't want to get it all dirty. We're on, we're on. There we go. First fish of the day on the big rod. I don't know what's up with this one, it just hasn't been producing well for me. I also haven't had blubber on the entire time. I just put on a sand flea and clam. That's what was on here. Oh, we did get ourselves a kingfish. Feels decent on here. We do a four ounce of lead and this is a heavy pull, but it could be a nice one, let's say. Eh. That's a eater right there for sure. On the clam, Southern King. Decent Southern King right there. But right, let's put him in the cooler number five, going in the cooler. All right, he's in there. Gotta get one more piece of clam for the top hook. I like using clam a lot for bait because it stays on so much better than say blood worms. Even the sand fleas have been falling off like crazy. Actually, I'm gonna go shrimp. See what shrimp does on that one. That's bait, kind of like my, my test rod over here, just testing different baits. Got, got some pink dyed shrimp right here. Put some shrimp on the top. Put the same clam back on the bow. Finally got a big, a big rod fish. But let's cast this rod out too. And I'll see you guys next time we hook up. See you then. Oh, dude, that's a fish. Yeah, we're on. Fish on. Oh, on the top hook, on the shrimp. Another nice one. Right there, gonna make a great meal. This right here is a Southern King. You see the lack of uh, dark stripes and there's no, there's no really tall little uh, spike on the dorsal fin. Let's get ourselves another piece of shrimp. Bait the shrimp on. All right, how we go. Over some more Kings. Great bite so far today. Yeah, he's on, he's on. Oh, really tiny guy, all right. I'm gonna chartreuse fish bite, nice. You can see, guys, that's a northern right there with the really dark bars. See you, bud. Too small to eat. Hopefully, you got some more kings. Uh, actually, up to nine right now, seven in the cooler. Great day so far. Little king, man. But again, on the chartreuse fish bite. Are you a chartreuse fish bite? See you, dude. Let's cast back out. Got him. Hooked up. Really feels small. Another small one. All right, get out of here, bud. More bloods on there, cast out, and hopefully we catch a big one. I mean, it's not around right now. I don't know what's up with him. There's a fish. There we go. Little tiny thing, fish, man. We'll let him go. Little northern. See you, bud. The first fish in a really long time. I don't know if it's up, what's up with the tide or whatever, but we haven't even had a bite in probably 15 minutes or so. Beat up, got the guy on Bloodworm with the chartreuse fish bite. All right, there we go. Beat it up. Now let's see if we can't get ourselves a bigger one, hopefully one for the cooler.
There's a bite already. Nice. Is he on? He's on. Small one, man. Look at him. Put the clam on there. There we go. Little northern kingfish right there. Oh. See you, bub. Got another rig with him. See you, bud. But we'll bait that back up. It was definitely a really fun fight. The aftermath of getting that thing unhooked was not fun, but. We did catch something, and uh, yeah, did put up a pretty decent fight. So I'll be back up, cast out, and hopefully get some fish, some king fish. There's a fish. Finally, a king decided to show up. Hoping I can just get a king fish for dinner, like another one, another one. I wanted a dozen. I thought it was gonna be easy. I think I'm at 11 right now. It's probably my 12th fish, but they're all small. Recently, I got those seven, and now they've just all been small since then. Yep, look at this, another small one. Kind of, it's kind of longer, but really skinny. That guy bit on the clam. Yeah, look at that. A little northern right there. Not looking too big. See you, bud. Feels a little bigger than they have been, but again, I'm not really sure. There we go, that's, that's a keeper right there. For sure. Yep, that's a nice little southern right there. Nice. Let's just go reel in this other rod. This guy's gotta get shark, shark on. So, I don't wanna be in his way. Now it looks like a solid hit. It's 
fucking good. I think it's probably the biggest one of the day. Not giant, but I think I'll keep. Yeah, that's a keeper right there for sure. Long one. Hit on the bottom clam. There you go. Hopefully this one's got some size to him. Bite is really, really slowed down in the past hour or so. Getting one, maybe two fish every 15 minutes. It is just dead. Ah, small. A little northern right there. Beautiful fish. See you, dude. This one feels decent. What we got, what we got. That's a good one, that's an eater right there for sure. Nice. Nice little king on the clam on the bottom. Number 10 for the cooler. The clam's actually a surprisingly good bait today. Normally I just go with blubberms and fish boys, haven't really tried out clam, I've heard Heard mixed things about it, but working out good today. All right, let's go cast this back out there. This rod's getting more fish because it's going out farther, I guess, so. Seems like they're stacked right on that trough. I think I'll keep. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Getting pretty full in there. But, uh, yeah, we can keep some more. All we need is two more and we'll be good. All right. All right guys, I'm gonna call it a wrap here for today. Um, bite really, really slowed down once the tie got lower. I'm not sure where the kingfish went or if I caught them all, I doubt that, but we haven't had a bite in like 15 minutes again it's just really slow a lot of shorts out here so uh yeah i'm gonna rip the rods maybe i have one on but that's all for this video guys call kingfish on shrimp clam bloodworm fish bite literally everything uh, even sand flea. so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one